Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. See the confetti on the floor? I forgot to film what I was doing. I'm in such a rush trying to do my taxes, trying to do this artwork for the show that I forgot to even update you guys. So I will do better at that. I'm making a little volcano. I think I want this, this piece to be about like my love for primary colors or color in general. So I'm gonna use my favorite color scheme to make it. And hopefully it will last the trip even though there's lots and lots of delicate thingy majiggies. <laughs> This is professional. So I finished my mask, even though it's more of a diorama, but hey, don't don't at me. So we're just quickly taking some photos from my Instagram before I send it off to Melbourne tomorrow. For those of you asking about the details of the group show, enjoy them, they are here. Duh -duh. And after this, we need to pack for Singapore because we're leaving to Mars, FYI. Great angle. Thank you. I'm oh a professional. <laughs> I did know that we're leaving tomorrow. How many things have you packed in the suitcase? Zero. Ooh, same. What else? Ugh, I gotta finish my taxes. Ugh, uh, <laughs> you look so funny. Also, for those who missed out on knowing, <laughs> Rocket made a SoundCloud. I know some of you saw like the remix he was doing of me asking him to get my thing. I was like, can you get my thing? And then he just turned into a song. And <laughs> what are you doing? When your boyfriend remixes questions, you ask him. Please stop soon. He didn't upload that, but he uploaded two other songs. And there's some nice film photos from our trips here, which I think's cool. Wait, can you actually click on the album artwork? Ooh, that's me at a train station. Super excited for the day that he makes music for my vlog. Let's play a little. I like this one better. Hey, that looks good. Do you think, I mean, that shadow is not great, but should we just just leave just it, Bubba? It just, I can Photoshop that out. Just... I have a surprise for you, honey, even though you knew it was coming, but you don't know what it is. What's my no address? What I'll just show you this part. Look how cute. Oh my god. I commissioned another piece from the Forest of Maury. I cannot wait to open it. I'm so excited. Well, Rocket will open it, I suppose. No, Here you go, CD. Do you open it and then hand it to me, Sean. Okay, you hold this. Okay. Oh wait, do you want to explain what it's for while I open this? Okay, so this is for... 
I got this case, my OP1, which is what I've been making all my music on. And Sean was like, damn, that's a nice case, but you know, it's not nice enough. So we need to jazz it up a little. Oh my God, I was using these scissors and it just exploded. What were you doing? I was cutting some cardboard and they just like the whole handle broke off. That's how strong I am. First of all, look at the bubble wrap. It's a little hot bubble wrap. You may open it, my love. <gasps> Is the little baby Obi Wan? I feel like you knew that's what it was gonna be. So maybe cut back in like five minutes. One, two, three, four. Six thousand, six thousand one, six thousand two, six thousand. Oh my god, true size to scale. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the forest warrior right now on every single platform ever that she's on. She's so cool. Now I need one for my camera bag. And I need one for my. Noted. <laughs> cover I'm doing is so much fun. It's been so therapeutic to keep it really loose. The line work and purposely make it more imperfect than I usually would. And also coloring it in is so much fun. I see why people buy adult coloring books now. I love it. Okay, we are filming outside because I need to film a Q&A before we go to the airport. Rocket and I and the rest of the family are going to Chiang Mai in Thailand. So yeah, this is our lovely lush Singaporean background. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I just wanna say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Squarespace is, what is wrong with you? You should have seen this in my videos for the past year. Squarespace is an online website building platform that you can use to create beautiful website. So if you want to start a business, if you want to create a portfolio, an online store, a blog, this is where you should do it because I have been using it for the past four years and I have not ever thought of straying. I love it so much. If you'd like to try Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash peach and you will get a two week free trial and a 10% discount on your first purchase. Ready for the Q&A? What are things you can or can't achieve when painting digitally versus physically? I think the one challenge that I have that I would love to be able to achieve is the imperfection of drawing traditionally in digital painting. It's really hard to get imperfections obviously because you're using pre-created brushes, textures that have already been created and also layered and also repeated. So that's the hardest thing. One thing that I find useful with digital work is being able to color match like your pre-existing palette. So when I'm doing client works, if it's like a logo job or if it's something that requires specific colors to meet branding or meet like start the style guide of the company I'm working for, I'll opt to use digital because you can create perfect color schemes. Whereas with watercolor, it can be hard when you mix the color, it might dry differently. Like you can always do tests, but if you layer up too much, it can be a completely different color. So that's what I would say. There's not a lot you can't do with traditional. You definitely can do it, but it's a lot harder to get the color palettes. Are your arms okay? Do you think it's too late for someone to start learning how to draw slash illustrate in early 20s? 
Heck no, of course not. Rosalie Gascoigne, she's an Australian artist. She makes installation works. And she started making art when she was 50 years old and she's a national treasure. So no, I don't think it's ever too late to start learning how to be creative. How do you deal with time crunches, all nighters or is sleep above all? I try and get as much sleep as I can but sometimes that just doesn't happen. I've been a lot better in the last couple of years with time management. I think that just comes with experience, knowing how long things are gonna take. But in high school and in university, I did all-nighters all the time. I think I'm getting to the age where I'm just like, I don't have time for all-nighters. I don't wanna get wrinkles. Sorry, baby, your arm's okay? How do you get clients? I want to do what you're doing, but I don't know where to start. I am very fortunate now that I pretty much don't reach out to anyone. I think because of my audience size, and the fact that I've worked with a bunch of clients before, they just need to email Chris or they reach out to me on Instagram and that's it. I don't have to do any seeking. But if you're beginning, what I did, I did this one time and it really worked out well for me. It's starting to rain, but whatever. What I did when I was younger is I went onto like this band. I don't know if I've already told this story. I went onto like a band that I really liked website and I found like all the emails on their MySpace page. And I just emailed them my portfolio, every single email. And then I got like a multiple jobs with multiple bands because it was their manager that reached back out to me. Her EP covers, I did like an album cover, merch designs, stuff like that. So it was really, really good for me. So I would suggest just like putting your work out there and sharing it with people that you admire or sharing it with possible clients or reaching out to people that you know will have work for you. So I'm not talking like directly to brands, I'm talking to agencies, I'm talking about like managers of, of specific like events or something like that. You know what I mean? Like people that can put you forward to clients to give you the work. What types of classes do you attend in middle school to, to get experience with the basics of painting? Um, I'm not really sure what middle school is. Is it like year seven or something? Rocket? Uh, it's not like the first one, but it's the one in between universities. So it's like- No, I don't school. think that's what it is. Oh, no, Cause that's like know. sophomore or whatever. I don't, okay. If you're American, sorry, I don't know what that is. Um, or any other country that uses that system. I'm just gonna say in general, I would take visual arts any sort of design courses that help you with creative thinking would be really good as well and help you with like programs. So any graphics technology or graphic design courses, because then you'll learn how to use the programs to create work. Visual arts is the main one, I think. But we also studied visual design. That's where Rock and I met. So I would suggest that so you can meet your future boy. How do you determine how much paint to mix before or during particularly large paintings? What do you do with excess paint? And finally, what do you look for in a paintbrush? Whoa, whoa. Um, I think it's become quite natural knowing how much paint to put out, but also I find it quite easy to mix colors. Like I'm pretty good with color theory and I am quite intuitive with my color palettes. So I have no problem with mixing more. I'd rather go less as not to waste paint. And what do you do with excess paint? It depends what it is. If it's watercolor on a palette, I can just keep that for next time. I don't use the kinds of paints that dry out and you can't use anymore. So I usually just reuse them. What do you look for in a paintbrush? I like soft bristles and I always use round brushes and like and detail brushes. Do you have any art? Am I making that clicking sound again? You are, and you're also, you started basically at the plant. So you just slowly throughout the whole thing just been walking forward. <laughs> Sorry. But I can't move back because I don't have a stable I'm not, so used like, to, I'm not used to sitting down, and I mean standing up. Yeah. Do you have any artwork from when you were at school, college, uni, and if so, would you ever do a video in which you show some? I'd love to see. I would be willing to do it if I can find some. If you guys want to see it, let me know, and maybe I'll do it if I'm not too humiliated and ashamed. <laughs> How do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I don't really know. I never think ahead. I just go with the flow. I'd like to have lots of children's books under my belt and I would like to do a lot more. Like I'd like to eventually have like a studio where I do more um, commercial illustrative work for brands, whether it be like packaging or branding and working with other designers and stuff under the umbrella of my studio. But that's just a pipe dream. Right now I'm really, really content with creating like artwork for companies and also just doing whatever I want. <laughs> Goals. Hi, Sean, I'm not very patient when it comes to making illustrations and I finish fast and with a not very good result. What do you recommend to me? I would suggest like pushing through. Finishing isn't just like when you finish the last line or fill the page. It should be when you're happy with the work. So continue until you're happy with it. Not when you think it's not a good result. You know what I mean? Obviously, sometimes you have to be like, I don't want this anymore. But a lot of the time you can really push through and create a good artwork. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching, hope you liked it. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. Feel free to do whatever you wanna do to support me, AKA. If you wanna subscribe, you can. If you wanna like, you can. If you wanna um, buy stuff from my store, support my sponsors, that would be awesome. Anyway, bye. <laughs>